for this STEM bite, I've been thinking a lot lately about engagement. So I'm a science teacher, right? As a teacher, I try to engage and motivate my students. Well, I was just out weeding my backyard, and it made me think about a really interesting analogy between how plants engage humans and how humans engage other humans. I'll show you what I mean. Throughout my backyard are these really annoying weeds. Ay -ya. What makes these weeds particularly annoying is that they have these really spiky briars all around them. Oh, that's sharp. You'll notice that the flowers that are coming out of this weed actually come right out among the thorns. This is a really effective way for this plant to engage humans. As I try to walk past these weeds, they scratch my legs, even cause me to bleed a little bit. They got my attention, if you know what I mean. But these thorns also engage animals, right? If an animal wants to come up, ow. <laughs> if an animal wants to come up and eat one of these yummy little leaves, it's gonna prick its nose against these thorns, right? It'll learn its lesson, won't try it again. Even though that may be an effective way to engage people and animals, there are other ways that plants can engage us. Slightly more appealing ways. Now, it's no coincidence that the weeds that are pricking me are ones that I'm ripping out of our garden and throwing away. But there are other plants that we keep in our garden because we like them so much. They engage us in such positive ways. Here's some really pretty purple flowers. I don't even know what they're called, which is kind of embarrassing. But when I smell them, Ah, oh, they smell really good. You can see a little bug just landed on there too. He likes the smell too. These flowers engage me, right? Because I smell them and they smell so good. These other flowers over here, they engage me because they're so beautiful. I mean, look at this incredible colors. It smells good too, but it's particularly pleasing to look at. I keep these flowers in my garden because they engage me in such a positive way. There's one more plant I want to show you. It's a tree that's across the street. So this tree is like a blackberry or mulberry, something like that. And you'll see that all over its leaves, it has these yummy dark berries. We love walking by here and grabbing a couple berries and snacking on them. Mmm, they're so sweet. It's really incredible. Only problem is they make your fingers really dirty. <laughs> So this tree engages plants and animals in another really positive way. It produces this delicious fruit. So all the kids in the neighborhood love that this tree grows here because when they walk by, they can have a quick snack. Plants provide a beautiful analogy, not only for how teachers like me engage our students, but also for how we as people try to engage one another. We can be the prickly thorns that get people's attention, but get thrown in the trash. Or we can be the beautiful flowers that smell and taste so nice that people really want to be surrounded by them. Stand by.